Should I do it now? Okay, uh, my name is Jamila. Do I need to do my second name as well? I'm not 30, I'm 29. <laughs> is it recording? <laughs> I talk a lot, so this is a bit, this is funny. My name is Jamila. Um, I'm Nigerian, but I was raised in the UK, and I'm 30. I was raised a Christian, and I, I got to a point in my life where I was looking for a new direction. Religions, to me, just felt like someone is telling you what to do. And I just thought, you know what, for me, as long as I pray to God, that's all that matters. And then I did get to a stage where I just felt like I wanted more. It felt like I wasn't connecting as much as I should have been connecting. And to me, Christianity, just for me personally, it wasn't giving me that anymore. And the only thing I could think about was, okay, what else can I turn to? And that's when my sister actually gave me a Fortress of the Muslim or one of those books. And she's like, if you feel this way, read this and read that. And so I found Islam at the age of 19. What attracted me most to Islam is the discipline, the five times a day praying, just being able to turn to your Lord. After that, I started, I, I tried to read more about the religion and I just turned around and I was like, I, I need that discipline and I think, I, I just wanted the discipline and I felt like this was the way forward for me. There were certain things in Christianity that I would have to, would I say not believe anymore or, or say, you know, I don't believe this anymore, i.e. that um, Jesus is the son of God. But you know, for me, I think that was the hardest thing. So funnily enough, it actually took me about, I think probably about two weeks after I made my mind I wanted to become a Muslim, but it took me two weeks to actually, say the, um, to actually make that, that decision and say the Shahada because I wasn't, or, or to, you know, to say I wanted to become a Muslim because I wasn't prepared to give that up. When I first became a Muslim, I was still in the UK and I just started uni. And I was blessed enough to, in the university I went to, you know, I had some um, Muslim sisters there, so there was a prayer room, so I used to go there. I didn't know anything, but they were so welcoming to me, and they were willing to help me because I knew nothing. And they were just willing to embrace me and help me understand certain things. And at that point, I'm not going to lie to you, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to cover up, but I didn't. It took me a while to actually start covering up because I was like, yes, I'm ready. And then I was like, actually, maybe not now, maybe another time. Let me try and do this first, perfect this, and then maybe I'll get there. People think it, 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 it oppresses you, but it doesn't. I think personally gives you respect. The way people deal with you, I found a difference in the way people dealt with me. Like people, there's more respect for you as a woman. You know, not saying that, you know, I'm not trying to say anything. This is just my, my, my journey, my story, what I noticed. The way people deal with you, the way people act with you, and even, the way I try to do things, I remind myself. Remember, Jamila, you can't be, you, I mean, you can't go to this place, for example, you're wearing the hijab. People that knew me back then and they know me now, they tell me things and I'm like, oh, wow, I guess I've changed a lot in terms of how I deal with things, in terms of how I deal with people. Like before, you know, once something is really, once I, hit a you know roadblock or something happens I just crawl into a shell and I just you know there are times when I'm like you know what like I don't even want to do anything I just want to be my misery because this is my misery was all about you know how I was feeling and I remember I had a friend that said to me um I'll complain to her about something she'd be like pray and I'm going to tell you the first time she said I wanted to strangle her because I'm like I'm trying to talk to you and you're telling me to pray what is you know like come on and there was a day where I said to pray and the more I prayed and the more I turned to the Lord and the more I just tried to understand more how beneficial the religion, the religion is and just praying and just understand, like basically with the religion there's something in, there's, like they say in the Quran for example, for every struggle you're going through, there's something in there that relates to it. If you open your heart to relate to it. Because I've read the Quran so many times and there are times when I'm reading something I'm like, skip it, skip it, you know, because I didn't want it to apply to me. But you find that the more you get into the religion, the more you get into, you know, the deen, you go back and you're like, ah, you know, that actually applies to me and I'm able to apply that to my life. So for me, I think what the benefits for me is that whenever something happens now, I'm able to, my first point of contact is to turn to Allah. I'm not going to lie, I'm a human being, sometimes I still complain. <laughs> my, first, my, my first point of action is to complain and go, ah, shout, and I calm down. I'm like, hang on a minute, and then I go and I pray and I feel better. And I've been in situations where, honestly, I kid you not, and I say this to people and they think I'm joking, where it seemed like there was no other way to turn. I didn't know what I was going to do. Like, I literally was like, there's nothing I can do. But instead of moaning as I would do usually, I'll, I'll go and pray. I'll go to my mat and I'll pray. And like, subhanAllah, the way things would turn around, even I'm shocked. And even my friends, they're like, 
Jamila, hang on, how did that happen? Honestly, like, there are things that have happened, I swear to you, like, I kid you not. And people don't get it, and they're like, and the more this happens, I'm like, I'm doing something right here. Don't block yourself, just take one step. Take one step in any direction. If, it's, if there's one thing you can give up today, anything, no matter how little you think it is, but you think it's something that will bring you closer, take that step. If, it's, if, for example, you feel like, you know, even just talking to somebody more about, uh, um, about the religion and becoming closer, that's a step. Even just listening to me right now, you're taking a step. So don't give up on that step, because we're all on this journey, and we can all help each other be better at this, trust me. We're all on the journey together. And you know, we can get there in the end, inshallah. It's just one step we have to take.